Let's look at the results from your CDT. Which of you have a printed concept with the state standards where you should begin and um, increasing your skills in order to build up to the eighth grade standard? Notice the sample one. We have algebraic concepts M4 D1 to 1. If you notice, the M stands for the math standard, 4 is the grade level. It's okay if you're not at the 8th grade level with some of these standards. You need the pre-required skills in order to build up to the 8th grade standards. And sometimes our multiplication tables or things are a little weak and it will um, prohibit us from getting correct answers um, with more difficult problems if we don't correct them and practice them a little bit more. Let's look at the IXL webpage now and how you can practice the standards that you need. If you look at if you look at IXL and click on state standards and then select Pennsylvania from the list we now go to the fourth grade level where we can scroll down until we see M4 D1211 is all the way at the bottom. We can see here how we need to practice patterns in geometric growth, increasing growth patterns, and also numeric patterns. We can see here DMD121. MD121. So here's MD121, which is actually functions, tables, and graphs. And if we click on that, it will then bring us to the problems we need to practice. Like your SMART score to be 100% on all of the standards listed on your CDT result sheet. We'll, you'll be given a score at the end of the marking period based on how many of these standards you get a SMART score of 100% on. You can work on these during study hall or area uh, at home and you just need a parent or a teacher to initial that you've done that and that you've scored a 100% on that um, standard and then you'll turn in your CDT result sheet at the end of the marking period. Thank you.